pretty sweet. Uh, you really can't see it too much, but there's some blue shimmeriness in there. It's kind of cool looking. Alright, so let's get some of this in here. Let's see if we can get it to the right now. Here goes this uh, pure caster. Let's get a little bit of that in there. Um, if you're wondering what I have in the washing bottle, it's sodium hydroxide. So that when the sulfur dioxide comes over, it will react with the sodium in the bottle, and that's where I get my sodium sulfide from. Just in case you were wondering, that's probably a pretty pertinent detail. So yeah, so that's what it looks like. I've got my addition funnel up here. Hey, let me get a better angle on this for you. There, now you can see it. So I've got my addition funnel going into a Claisen adapter. That's going down into my reaction vessel, and then I've just got a gas takeoff the stop clock is unnecessary on there if you just have a regular gas takeoff or a stopper with a tube in it will work sufficiently um, it just happens to be what I have on hand and then um, it goes into a washing bottle or you can even make yourself a washing bottle if you don't have one scrub the uh, sulfur dioxide out of it and that's roughly a two molar equivalent of uh, NaOH in the water there so what I did was I just made a, a two molar solution a few hundred milliliters of it because the excess I didn't use I just poured into a bottle and saved for frit washing um, and uh, so I just filled that up until it was a decent little bit above the outlet and um, yeah, that's all it is. So uh, let's let this go for a little bit and we'll see if we start to get anything coming over, any gas. Hopefully I don't have to heat this up because then I have to move my whole system upwards into the sky and that means keck clips and all that. So let's hope. So, so I just wanted to show you guys this is funny I thought. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't have enough bupropane, and so now I am reduced to using my little butane torch. Uh, I guess I could have used the Burns-O-Matic for this, but the way the torch is out, I had to have put it up. The reaction flies come in, I'd have to have raised it way high in the air, and this just worked out. So, I'm reduced to using my little baby torch out of bupropane, but it's working just fine, so... Just going to take a little bit longer. I opted for this also because it's a little bit more efficient than just an alcohol lamp. I mean, I could have used that too, but it's pretty cold out, so I wanted a little bit more heat. It's starting to get pretty hot too, so I'm going to actually back that off a little bit. Okay, just wanted to show you guys stupid things that happen when you don't have the proper backup materials. Just wanted to show you guys that I added some clips here. I put a clip here where I didn't have one, and up here I did actually switch this one out for a stainless clip instead. Well, not stainless anymore, but it was. Uh, that's just because I got so much pressure building up in there, I heard it pop, and uh, I got right there. He started to come out a little bit, so figured that uh, I better seal it up better, or else I'll start blowing out stoppers. So I had to modify my setup once again a little bit, slightly. So uh, after I put all the metal cut clips in, I still was losing pressure out stoppers. 
And I couldn't figure out why so much pressure was building up. And uh, so, it's because of this little guy right here. The hole in the stopcock is so small it actually started to solidify most of the way through with some sulfur that had crystallized out. Uh, so, got that taken care of. Just stuck a thermometer adapter on there and stretched the tube around it. So, got a much bigger orifice for our gas to be coming through. And now it's coming through nicely. So, crisis averted once again. Okay, I just wanted to update you guys. I've been running this reaction now for a little bit over two hours and I've been keeping the temperature as steady as I possibly can uh, right around 140 to 160 C and that's got the reaction going pretty good. Uh, I had a little bit of an issue with some suck back. Um, I moved the flame a little bit too far away and it started to suck up into the tube there and that's a, one reason for a lot of this discoloration that you see going on in there in my wash bottle I've just got my stir bar in there that's from uh, when I mixed up the solution I just mixed it up in the wash bottle itself uh, put it on a magnetic stirrer to get it, all the sodium hydroxide into solution and then dumped out what I didn't need so that's why that's in there but all that real dark yellow that's in there. Um, now, sodium sulfide should be yellow as it is, you know, because it's a sulfide and sodium is white, so you combine the two together and you get a yellow color. Um, however, at this point, it shouldn't be that yellow, so I picked up a little bit of the oxidation of the tube. That shouldn't hurt too much, though. What I'll do is I'll heat that up and filter it through some sea light or something while it's hot strip out a lot of the impurities that I can that way and then I will reduce the liquid volume down and get my product out so not that big of a deal just wanted to give you an update see so see how things are coming along